Hey everybody, Brian from IGN here, and today we're taking a look at the brand new cinematic trailer for the World of Warcraft Battle of Azeroth expansion. First thing we see here is the Undercity, which was previously the capital city of Lordaeron in Warcraft 3 and previous games in the series. It fell to the undead during the events of Warcraft 3 after Arthas murdered his father, the King. It's been under Horde occupation ever since, and acts as the main city for the undead race. Here we see a ton of Horde banners along the walls. At 32 seconds, we get our first shot of Sylvanas Windrunner. Ever since Vol'jin was killed in the opening mission for the Legion expansion, she's been the war chief of the Horde. These are the Alliance Footmen in some modified armor. Footmen have been very recognizable units in all the previous Warcraft titles. They act as foot soldiers for the Alliance, but also as guards in some of the major cities and towns. In this trailer, their armor looks slightly modified and more rigid than the previous rounded out shoulder pads. The wall we see here is the same one Sylvanas and all of the other archers were standing on top of in previous scenes. It seems like the Alliance is making a push to try and retake the capital city of what once was Lordaeron. Here we see the sword of Shalamane, which was previously owned by Varian Rin. Varian was the king of Stormwind until he was killed by Gul'dan in the opening mission of Legion. Right here it's being held by his son Anduin, who is now king of Stormwind and leader of the Alliance. This nice wolfman here is Gen Greymane, a worgen and king of Gilneas. Gilneas was a kingdom under the rule of Lordaeron before it fell, so it makes sense that he'd be here helping to take it back since there is an emotional stake in it. He's also one of Anduin's most trusted advisors. Here we see Anduin in his brand new set of armor, which is lion themed. At 107, we get more Alliance footmen and some Dwarven gunmen, which were prominent ranged units in Warcraft 3. To the right, we see a Ballista, a classic and recognizable Warcraft unit. It's basically a catapult that launches giant arrows. In the back are some kind of siege machines that we've never really seen before in previous games or expansions. Jumping ahead, this is Varrock Sourfang, leader of the Orc in Orgrimmar after the absence of Thrall. He's a veteran of all three great wars and has been a chief military leader over the course of WoW's history. His prominent presence in the trailer means that he's most likely going to be a key character over the course of the story. Here are some night elf archers, and at 148 we have Sylvanas killing some people with her banshee powers. And at 202, Sylvanas again in her banshee form resurrecting her fallen allies and killing some soldiers. Here are some mages, dwarven gunmen to the right, and a drawn eye in the background. And here we have Anduin and Gen again getting ready to charge. Seconds later, we see Anduin fighting, which is pretty cool considering his previous stances on violence. Jumping ahead, Anduin drops a sword and starts to use the light to resurrect his fallen allies. Before he was crowned king, he was a priest in training, strove for peace, and opposed conflict. Seeing him fight in the trailer is kind of a big deal, since it's a turnaround for his character. His dropping of the sword here and using his powers to heal might be a clue as to his inner struggle between peace and violence over the course of the story in Battle for Azeroth. And after that, we get a whole lot more fight scenes. Many, many, many more fight scenes. Caught something we missed? Let us know in the comments, and you can watch the full trailer or the Battle for Azeroth features trailer to find out more about what to expect in Blizzard's latest expansion. For more news, tips, and videos on your favorite games and entertainment, keep it right here on IGN.